So far, we have been looking at traditional types of enclosures made by Schaeffer services, where you have housing profiles that keep together up to six panels, or you have side profiles or side sections, which keep together four panels. But there is another way you can make a simple box called a U-box. A U-box is one where you have a panel, you bend it on two locations, or you have two panels, and both are bent at two locations. So you get a U-shape like that, and for the other one, a U-shape like that, and then they go together like this, forming all in all six sides. And I have one example of how one of these boxes you have seen previously could be made in this way. But uh, just to show you quickly here, this is an example of such a U-box from a real-world product. You can, um, yeah, how can you see it best? If you look at it from, uh, from the end, you can see the shape of the top cover is formed like a U. It is bent on, uh, on, on two locations, right there and right there. Um, if I zoom further in, you can see it quite clearly. And um, the same is of course true for, uh, for the other one, which you, you can't see the bend. Uh, but generally it comes pretty, pretty well together, as I think you will agree. Um, what, uh, yeah, um, the sides come together here. They are held together by housing profiles on, uh, on these corners. Uh, right here, I have a housing profile here. I have a housing profile in this end and uh, on the other side here. So um, this is an example of such a U-box. Um, the panels, if you look at the panels, the panels look like, uh, like this. You can see um, for the top cover, uh, if you zoom in, you can see the groove that I used to bend the panel. Simply what happens is that um, a cavity is milled uh, like this and then you can uh, typically for a small panel like this you can just build it like that otherwise what I quite often do is I uh, put it on the table like this and um, and then I press down on this edge and bend it up like that so this is the one side and uh, generally what happens when you do this because there's like uh, half a millimeter material left in, in the bend right here uh, you could do this forth and back like three or four times and then it will break. Most of the time you will do it only once because when you have done this and you do it for, for the bottom panel too, now you have uh, the U-box and it comes together like this. You screw it together with housing profiles and, and, uh, and then, then you're done. So you're basically not um, asking yourself for the strength in this case uh, because when it's screwed together it seems to be pretty pretty stable. It, 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 uh, I, I don't feel at least that a box made in this, with this principle in any way feels loose or whatever. So that's basically the ingredients and what we're going to look at now is how to create it from this material I've been given by Schiffer. And there you go. So the two traditional boxes based on housing and side profiles and then here the U-box based on absolutely nothing but two pieces of metal and some housing brackets. So they all have the same size and this is the cheapest one of them all to make. Um, yeah, I think it's maybe a matter of uh, yeah, your situation if you need the one or the other type. Um, the type of features that you see on it is that um, you saw on the assembly um, fast forward that there are something like, yeah, how many was it now? Some eight housing brackets inside. Um, and some of these housing brackets are actually mounted on studs. So um, this would be the front side and the top side. And the idea is that this would be a box where this is the side that faces the user or maybe this one. So you want them to be pretty while the sides here and here as well as the back side 
uh, it doesn't matter if there's a housing uh, bracket screw hole or not. And the same goes for the bottom, of course. So uh, that's some of the features. But uh, what we should take a look at now is how did we actually create this box uh, from the script. And uh, just like with the Sheffer housings script that can create uh, housings according to uh, the Sheffer's uh, housing assembly uh, uh, manual, um, we also have scripts for this. And that script is called U housings. So if you go to GitHub, you'll find the latest version of this script. It may also be included with your Sheffer installation at this point. Otherwise, as you can do as I did, I put it in a users, uh, user script folder. So it means that inside uh, front design, you'll find the use housing uh, or you can have the U housing script um, in the menu like this. Otherwise, you can just copy paste it from my GitHub repository as you like. Anyway, let's start it. So this box that I made here is actually based on the standard settings from here. So what you see is um, or we can just go with these uh, dimensions. Uh, I think it's a 2.5 millimeter. It was red. And um, create order with housing, housing brackets. Yeah, why not? And let's just keep the house uh, or the uh, guide engravings. Uh, you should remember the guide engravings from uh, all the other videos demonstrating these and they show how useful it can be to see the position of elements on the other side. And that's certainly also true for the U housing box. And let's just see, we have some stuff coming up here. Yeah, as you can see, basically when you uh, ask it to create an order, what it will do is to put the number of, of housing brackets in your basket that you need to order to assemble the box. But if you go back to, to front panel designer itself, you'll see two panels, only two panels, the top panel and the bottom panel, top panel and the bottom panel. And that's exactly the files that I had ordered to make this box. So you can see uh, by default, using the GUI of the script, you get a uh, top panel, which has, um, if you don't mind, I'll just change the color of the panel so we can more easily see what happens. Um, you see here for the front mounting area, you, we are using studs. And again, the guiding engravings is really helpful to show where is the housing bracket so we don't make a cutout there. You can also see how far the uh, bottom side will extend because um, basically on, on the front side here, the, the bottom U shape well, of course, take 2.5 millimeter along the edges. That's kind of obvious, but so that you don't forget it, it's useful that you have these guide engravings to help you. All right, and it says front mounting area, uh, and uh, you can see the top mounting area and the back mounting area. Okay, so that was the top and then the bottom panel right here.